There we go. Good morning again, everybody. Thank you very, very much for being here. This is Rick with Hit and Run Candlesticks, if you did not know that. Uh, today's date is uh, March 12th, 2024. It is a Tuesday, and we are um, definitely in a bull trend. We are, um, I, I would say that we are, uh, or we have, just like I'm trying to get something going here it's not working huh. well there it is um, we definitely have uh, a trend cook in here and we definitely have a wall of worry I, I think every trader out there is probably worried even traders that say hey we're going higher you know what deep inside they've got some worry they have to have and and I'm gonna believe that they have so we have to be very careful as we trade in here. You know, we get candles like this. It scares us to death. And then, then this candle, what it does is it pops down real low. And you think, okay, let's get short. This is why we want to see confirmation. Because those that got short early yesterday probably got your fannies handed to you uh, yesterday afternoon. And you're certainly wishing that you weren't in that short right now. The key is not to pick a top or pick a bottom the key is let this let the chart set up let trend break and then trade within the trend no matter how bad the price action might have looked in here no matter how bad and believe me I was I was I had my doubts we were going to be able to pull this up uh, no matter how bad the trend was intact the trend was intact it never broke so the trend is is so so important and patience is important over here to the left is a list that i'm going to talk about today uh here this morning there's no way i'm going to get through all those charts although i will start at the very top not that the top is the best let's look at the cues real quick cues are trying to move up bottom line if they can't break out of this 446 area you got nothing You've got a lot of noise, so we need to break out. That's going to be important. Again, we're call, we're we're in this bullish wall of worry. Diamonds, diamonds have pulled back. What I would think is a little bit better. I like their pullback better. It's more organized. It 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 looks more like a a pullback that could uh, do some reversing. See here. Now, what we need to do is cross over that downtrend line. And that looks like, to me, uh, on that breakout, it's got a breakout, that we could see something move there. Let's look at IYT, the transports, real fast. That's bad news bear there. But look where we are this morning. So the, the transports went down hard yesterday. Looks like this morning we're up over the T-line. I think we need to prove ourselves we do need, we don't need the transports rocking up to be bullish, but what we don't want them to do, be doing is rocking to the downside, okay? So if they just want to move sideways calmly and quietly, that's fine. But um, we don't want them to get bearish. SMH, same way. We don't want SMH to drop down, which as long as some of the tech stays up, I doubt SMH is going to fall long as the tech stays up and you can see here we're trying to pull up from that big bearish engulf we're trying to gain some ground back all right let's take a look at some of these uh trades uh that i have here by the way last night i sent out two videos they were short videos we're talking like 60 seconds short and uh lac was one of them i would love to hear back what anybody thought about those opposed to longer videos or any comments that you might have um, I did one for LAC and I did one for PFE so LAC here we've got a nice inverted head and shoulder set that has set up and that has follow through and then we've run up and if we ignore some of the you know little 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 noise little noise makers in there then what we have here is a j-hook continuation pattern we have broken out now we have a j-hook here and what we're going to be looking for is follow through that next leg up 
Now, that doesn't mean that we can't consolidate a little bit, but the next leg up is where we're going to make our money. Thank you, Mike. You saw the PFE. Yeah, there's another one out there, LAC. Um, so anyway, LAC, I'm looking to buy this one. I, I really wish it would pull back. That's what I would really like buy in here, but I'm not going to let it run away. So I, I may be a buyer of LAC this morning and I'll let everybody know through our members app. Um, PFE, we talked about this one quite a bit yesterday here in the room. This is another one that I would love to see uh, pull back a little bit. Why did it do that? Let's do this again. There we go. I would love to see this pull back in this area. And it may not today. It may want to just scoot up today. And then it will pull back eventually. I'm not worried about that. I would like it to be there today. I'd like to buy it today. And then what we're looking for in the end of the pullback is that move up. That next leg before it has the next pullback. And it will have the next pullback. Not worried about that. Hey, JW bought some of that LAC yesterday. Nice, JW. I like that. that. That's working out good. Good for you. Here's another chart. Uh, GLW that I like. Um, Corning. Corning has been in a very nice trend here. You can see that trend moving up. I'm just using the trendicator here. Trendicator is the green dots. It's just a, a very simple way to show the bullish trend. If you want to see what a bearish trend looks like with those red dots, there you go. Very third grade stuff. Uh, easy, man. You don't have to think about it. That's bearish. That's bullish. Based on the trendicator. Now what we want to do is we want to watch those chart patterns, which there's only, what, three, four maybe chart patterns at the most that we really look at. And here we are. You know, look at that. We've got a doji bullish engulf. We've got a flag here. We're trying to break out actually... According to this pre-market, we're breaking out. GLW is looking good. Uh, if you're afraid of this top, if you're concerned, well, wait for it to break out of that top. Real simple. Real, real simple. Um, SQM. Wait, I think I had a question here. Let's see. Roger says, good news today on um, PFE. All right. Thanks, Roger. So much for that pullback, right? <laughs> Look at SQM here. This is also setting up for rounded bottom breakout. We have a very nice bottom in here. In fact, this mo looks more like a pretty nice looking cup. There's your cup and there's your handle. Here's our pullback in the handle and now we're trying to break out. This is the 50 period moving average right there, that blue line. And the T line is now across it and the trend indicator is getting close to crossing it. Our target will be toward the 200 period moving average right there. That's a good looking chart, SQM. Um, toast, and then we'll, oh, we have time. Toast, look at toast. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Look at that. This is what we call a T-line run here, by the way. Um, price gets on top of the T-line, which is the eight exponential moving average. That's the black line. And then it hangs there for several days. I've never put a timeline on there, but maybe we should do that. Let's say four days. How's that? Four days, maybe five. We'll talk about it. And now here we rest. Just a little rest before we take that next trip up. All right. Now, let's watch this. So see how we pop up and we rest before we take that next trip up and we'll go we'll go here took a trip down and then a trip up trip down we'll say trip up trip down that's the way charts work just like that beautiful uh some of the banks are looking pretty good uh we better look at nvidia not that I'm buying the video. It just seems to be the talk of the town right now. And uh, we're going to need NVIDIA. If NVIDIA falls down, that's going to be a problem for the market because that's going to really drive some tech down and that's going to cause us to be a little bit 
I don't know, that wall of worry is going to really step up again. And then if we break that wall of worry, Humpty Dumpty just might fall. And it's going to take a while to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. So, um, the market that is. Uh, so let's keep our eyes on NVIDIA. That's a player right there. Like I said, the banks are looking pretty good. Uh, Walmart is still looking pretty good here. We've got a Morningstar signal right here on the T-line. Now I'm holding some Walmart. Uh, so I'd like to see Walmart move a little bit higher. So far, it's doing really well. Trend is up. You can see the trend indicator here. Uh, for those that could stand it, look how the trend indicator, once we cross from red to green, look at that. Stayed green the whole way. Wow. Anyway, that's what I have for today. A great big good morning to everybody. Uh, we'll see you in the trading room in about 30 minutes when the market opens up. You guys all take care, okay? See you shortly.